There we go. So, the computer probably thinks we're friggin' crazy. Uh, I'm, a, I'm having a lot of fun with that. I haven't actually written any songs. Yet. I, I'm not as good at like your party on Facebook one was was really cool. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, yeah. I need. I want to do something That's, like that. It's September 22nd. Man, what a day! The day of my 37th birthday. Party on Facebook is well on the way. Let's see what we have here for you today. No need for showering. It's a party on Facebook. I feel bad that I didn't uh, do one this year, but I you should have done uh, it this year. It was so awesome. I. Uh, but I think next year you do a party on Google Plus because it'll help get people over to that platform. Because I'm so fucking sick of Facebook. God damn, I hate them yeah. so much. I'm only fucking on there because so many other people are on there. That is that is like that was their game plan all along. They they created something that was really cool. A lot of people joined, and then they're like, ha ha ha! Now we can fuck with you because you have no choice. And I say to you, Facebook, just remember what the fuck happened to MySpace. Mm -hmm. That oh, is yeah. all. MySpace I, coming I, I, back too. Oh, MySpace is coming. Yeah, yeah. Fucking musicians are always giving me links to MySpace. I'm like, fuck off. I'm not clicking that link. I'm just not clicking it. Yeah. Because I remember, I remember the time that I clicked the MySpace link and my face got raped. <laughs> too many, uh, too many animated. Uh, oh my god! I mean, like, I feel that bad. I, I, I just, I, I'm too scared to look. They've deleted all that stuff. You know what? My, my, the, the thing I'm trying to get on right now. Fucking invites are extremely hard to get. Ingress, have you seen that? No, I've heard it's people a, talk about it though. It, it's a new, it's a new uh, mobile game, and okay. what it, basically it, you interact with things in the real world. So it's like geocaching, but like more of a game. I see. So okay. There's yeah. all over the world. There's like places and objects that are like um, sort of like. I don't buried, know what they're called. In the ground or something? Or? No, 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 no. They're out in the open, like a like a house that just stands out from the ones around it. Like maybe that's the only one in the neighborhood's painted yellow or something like that. And it becomes okay. like um, a, what's the word? Like a, like a, I want to say point of interest. They have a fucking they have slang for it in the game. I can't remember because I don't have a fucking code. I'm not playing it. Um, <laughs> but this is everywhere around the world. Uh, yeah, apparently, and like you could you can go in your own neighborhood even before you get the code and take pictures of like odd buildings or strange things, and you can send it to their team, and they'll they'll they might actually add it to the game. Oh, and cool. the idea is that like there's two teams, and you you want to capture that object or that place for your team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, oh, cool. And the so idea is that there's it, like this. The idea is like a capture the flag concept. Kind but... of. Well, no, it's it's yeah, it's kind of like there's a sort of alien, not like a sort of alien incursion thing, I think. And that's what ingress. I mean, ingress means way in. And there are these sort of points that are like activated. And the idea is there's two sides. One is like they want to accept what's coming and use it to you know improve humanity. And then you have the other side, the resistance, who are like they don't like they 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 they're they're saying we'll lose our humanity if we do that. So we need to shut all these locations down. Oh, okay, all right. And so it's like this secret wow. war that's going on. So it's it's you know in the future I can see this I can see this being developed when we all have like uh, Google goggles. Mm -hmm. So you can actually like look around and see objects oh that exist only in the game world so that someone's holding something, but unless you're wearing the glasses, you can't. You can't see it? You can't see it. <laughs> God, and so I think what? That's, this, is what this, this is where this game is going, right? Like right now we're holding up our mobile phones, kind of like a layers thing, or what's the Google, Google version Goggles. of that? I can't remember. What? Google Goggle is, uh, is that program, and it's, and it's available. It's been available since Gingerbread. Where you no, 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 no. Up, you can put it up to a painting. Oh, okay. It tells you what the painting is. Yeah. Okay. So it's like it's like it's layers, except it's the Google version of layers, which sounds a lot better. Um, I think it's supposed to. I think they're opening it to the public November thirtieth. So I guess in ten days or eleven days, I'll have access to it. So it'll suck then. I gotta get new glasses. Speaking of glasses, and Do I don't you? know what kind I get. Yeah. I don't know if I because these these glasses have the snap on, uh, sunglasses. They're snap on. Okay. I'm not sure if I should just buy a new pair and then I'd have to buy a new pair of glasses and a new pair of sunglasses, or if I just repla replace the lenses for these. Well, and I got to say, your glasses do look a bit out of date. They look they a are. little bit. They look a little bit 2002. <laughs> That's when I bought them. <laughs> I watched uh, the first season of uh, Matt Smith's Doctor Who. And oh, did he, you? Has, he has the paunch sunglasses. He, he throws them on a couple episodes. Uh, that made uh, I don't, that was so long ago, I don't really remember. They're, they're really, they're like the, the reflective ones, you know, like where you could see, you know, the other person or the person could see themselves, I guess, if he was, he just, they're big and he just put them on and I thought, oh my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> So 
so I, I watched the first season with him and uh, he's, he's kind of, he's weird. He's very odd. The doctor all, the, is all the doctors, all the doctors are, but he's, he's almost very aggressive and, and angry at, um, what's her name? Amy, Amy Pond. He's like yelling no, at he her. He just gets excited. Uh, yeah, I guess. But he's just more excitable than, 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 than the David Tennant? Tennant's doctor. I don't know. Tenant Tenant was was kind of all over the place, but I, that's what I liked about him. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like Tenant Tenant apparently now has surpassed Tom Baker as the most popular Doctor. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, there's a like a poll that I don't know it was Doctor Who Monthly or or so, just some place online. They did a they did a poll. Maybe it was the Facebook page, but I think if it was online, <laughs> it, it's like it skews younger, right? I think it was. But, uh, so that, I think it was a MySpace. Uh, MySpace <laughs> poll. No. You so must those, vote here. All those, po- all those poor people who voted now have... We, we can identify them because they have melted faces. Um, <laughs> fucking MySpace. Yeah. Um, but no, they did a poll and apparently Tennant is now the most popular Doctor. I don't, I don't get it. Like Honestly, of the new Doctors, I, I kind of like... I kind of dug Eccleson. Yeah, you know what? Somebody else told me that the other day. And, I just kind of wish did... stuck around a bit longer. Yeah, me too. I think I, think I didn't like him because he left. And then I thought Tenant was a bad idea, and then now, uh, now I. I don't think I Tenant think he... was a bad idea. Tenant wasn't a bad doctor. I'm just saying he wasn't my favorite. No, I, I mean at the time I thought it was a bad idea to change the doctor so quickly and to have yeah. not not his acting style. He's a good actor. He's just you know I, I wasn't I was so used to seeing that, and it's only it was only what like. Well, well no, because I think what they wanted to do is that they couldn't do the regeneration between um, Paul McGann. And yeah. Eccleston, they could, they didn't want to show. They didn't want to start the series with the regeneration because new viewers like it would kind of be alien. Like you didn't, they wouldn't know that doctor. And that doctor mm-hmm. was only in like one show. Right. He just did the TV movie in '96, and so he's not. There's no connection to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think what they wanted, they st- and the thing is, Eccleston is he's he was much. A, he's a really serious actor, right? Like he's. He's very serious, and so I think to get him, they had to promise him only one year, basically. No, I know, I know the reason. And, I mean, I, I, yeah, I know, and, and I know it's, and, but the, the thing is, thing. I think they also wanted to do uh, regeneration because then they were like, by that point, by the end of the first season, then we like him and mm-hmm. we, we know him and it means something when he regenerates. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, no, I kind of wish he'd stuck around longer. I liked him a lot. I'm actually surprised, you know, with all the fucking fan service they've been doing with these things, like with like Russell T. Davies was doing with the show, like way too much fan service. Like mm-hmm. all this like, Cybermen and Daleks in the same episode. Yeah. Like fanboys were creaming their pants, but it was a shitty story. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a good story. It, it was I, just. It, it was really silly by the end. And they brought back the Time Lords in that one too. And I'm like, what? What a silly way to bring back the Time Lords. Like the Time Lords should be actually kind of, like they wanted them to be menacing, but they weren't menacing. It was just like, oh look, it's Timothy Dalton. Like, and yeah. then, and then, they, then, like, boom, they're gone. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, look, they if you're alone. gonna bring a monster back. Mm-hmm. You're going to bring something back. I mean, Tom Lawrence aren't monsters, but you're going to bring like a group of people back. Fucking make it good, man. Yeah. The new Cybermen kind of suck, really. Yeah, I haven't. It wasn't as good as I expected. What the. With. with Stephen with, Moffat. Uh, Stephen yeah. Moffat, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't quite as. I was expecting a little bit more from him. Mm-hmm. And I'm getting, I'm getting really sick of the fucking Weeping Angels. Okay, that's, that's what I wanted to mention. In the very last episode, uh, Russell T. Davis uh, did. Or not last episode. Sorry, the the episode with the time lords when they came back. Yeah. Um, two of the two of the time lords said that they didn't want anything to do with it, so they started doing this, and they were standing behind Timothy Dalton, and Timothy Dalton yeah. says, "The vote is taken. Only two stand against, and will stand as monument to their shame, the weeping angels of old." And so I thought to myself, "Oh, so he's basically explaining the origin of." Weeping Angels, <laughs> yeah, and now and then in in a, in a later episode in this in this first season with Matt Smith, um, he says, "A weeping angel, Amy, is the deadliest, most powerful, most malevolent life form evolution has ever produced." So I thought, I think that linked. was I think that was Stephen Moffat going going by, like to Russell T Davies. How dare what you? What the fuck are you doing? Because <laughs> yeah, Russell, Russell Russell T Davies would do shit like that. Like he'd be like, he tries to oh, link everything. Well, I can do this, and this would connect that. Whereas I think Moffat had shit all planned out. He yeah. plans shit way in advance. 
Mm-hmm. Was it, Davey said himself for the first season, it's like, yeah, I didn't know what that bad wolf thing was, but it kind of came together when I wrote the last episode. I'm like, <laughs> the last episode was shit. Yeah. Like, bad wolf is Rose, and she just is spray painting this shit, and why is she doing it? And it doesn't make any sense, no. really. No. I mean, he thinks it's like, oh, it was such a work of genius, but I didn't know I was doing it. But see, my mind works on its own, and, and it does all this stuff without me knowing. And I'm like, yeah, you're, you're annoying. Um. Yeah, more. F- oh, I'm sorry. That was the fucking point I was getting to. That's yeah. another example of the fan okay. service. Yeah. I, I'm getting also getting talked to, tired of the Doctor saving the whole fucking universe because it's happening like every season. Mm-hmm. Um, it didn't happen last few seasons actually with Moffat. It was no? different. No, no, he's like saving just, himself. In just one of that first one, really. Yeah, but first anyway. Season. So what with all the fan service, what kind of made me crazy was that no multiple Doctor stories. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, wait, that's, McCoy- not, that's not true, though. They did. When, when Oh, yeah, yeah, that one special thing where they had yeah. Peter Davison show up. Yeah. But that didn't make sense. The problem is Peter Davison is so old now. Mm-hmm. And he was, he was like one of the youngest actors to do The Doctor originally. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, so it looked, we, and so they made up some excuse for it. But what would be really cool is to have, like, because Paul McGann, we don't know how long he lasted before he regenerated, so he could be old. Yeah. He could look old. Uh, Sylvester McCoy... Um, when they killed him off in the in the TV movie, when he mm-hmm. regenerated, he was yep. quite old then as well. Yeah. And they could just, I mean, they it would he's be easy to. He's still alive too, right? He's still alive as well. Well, all of them are like Tom, from Tom Baker on. They're all alive. They're all alive. Um, Colin Baker can't do it. He's way too fat now. You know, everyone like loves the Doctor they grew up with. I'm one of like the few people who actually likes Colin Baker's Doctor. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> like, he was a bit of a he was a bit of a hard ass, and uh, yeah. I kind of like that. Okay. And he was also like kind of batshit insane, which I thought was really cool. <laughs> um, but Peter, Dave- I Peter like it. Davidson, I like it when the doctors are Baker. insane. Peter Davison and Colin Baker were the doctors I grew up with. So Tom Baker was kind of done by the time I was watching. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you can have Sylvester McCoy, Paul McGann, Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant. So there's there's like four possibilities of past doctors, and I don't think you need all of them. I don't think you need to go crazy oh, and put all I of think, them in. But I think they are. They are going to do all of them. Anybody that's still alive has agreed to do it. Wow, because Tom Whatever. Baker, how are they going to pull that? Because like, he really looks different. I don't know. Because he's quite big now as well, mm-hmm. Tom Baker. And are, he are still they gonna, sounds the same, but he's very big are they and gonna very use, gray. Are they using Tenet, or are they going to use his human form? Uh, that's an interesting... Well, that And that's the other thing, is that, yeah, you can have multiple doctors because you've got the human Tenet walking around in an alternate universe. Yeah. Um. And uh, yeah, but I like the idea of like I want what I want is I want some Paul McGann wrap up. I want to know. Yeah. I don't think they can say what happened in the time war because I think they've played it up so much that. Yeah, I remember you be, saying that last shit, time. Yeah. It's just it's, it's just too big that uh... make the story about those. Maybe like like still you might skip the time war because mm-hmm. that's like a big thing. I don't think you can show that. I think it'd just be cheesy. Yeah, like compared yeah, to like this happen. whole thing that's built up. But I think like the aftermath. Of the time time yeah. war that led because we we there's the impression that it led to his regeneration so like so but it, I, you know what I think would be really cool for a special is you started off with fucking Paul McGann and mm. we actually have yeah. like we have like an hour with just him so we kind of get to know the character yeah and maybe Instead he has a companion that, or something like that yeah or like maybe Instead he gets the, maybe the current yeah. companion ends up with McGann oh okay. Right, and then and then they're traveling. They're 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 Even they're traveling Eccleson. around. And at the end of it, at the end of it, we 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 have or like you know, uh, an hour into like the ninety minute special, or whatever, we have the regeneration and then or something like that. But you know, it'd be great if they actually if they actually cast the twelfth Doctor, and the stories about him. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, cast him special? in advance. Yeah, but the thing is, the pro- that's the problem is you need, you need to know when Matt Smith is definitely going to leave, so you can lock the guy into a contract. Yeah, but he's been talking about it though. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah, because he's done three now, right? This is his third. Yeah, season? I know, I know. I'm surprised though, because like it's not like Christopher Eccleston. I don't think Matt. I mean, Miss Smith was a comic. Yeah. Like, how much of a career does he have outside of Doctor Who? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I I want to. The, the thing <laughs> with Doctor thing Who that, though is that these guys can do one year and then they can do then they can do um cons forever and get paid for that shit. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, um, but well, like I don't know. Me if I was about... the doctor. I'd want to do it as long as I possibly could. Mm-hmm. I'd want to set a record. Set a record was... to be the yeah. longest doctor. Yeah, but then you gotta like deal with shitty Dalek uh, scripts and. Cyber. Yeah, I know it's true. It's like just get new bad guys, man. I know, I know. I'm, I'm talking like you know. Let's let's have let's give the fucking Daleks and the Cybermen a rest for a while. Yeah. 
Let's bring back some they like. Just keep bringing them back. It's like, oh no, we've time traveled. You have destroyed us again, but you haven't really because we'll always like. It's like yeah. the the, che- the che- They come back like a like a bad like matinee character, mm-hmm. like a like a like a like characters in like Saturday morning cartoons. It's like I get it. They're like a cancer on the galaxy, but like, can we just uh, oh, take a rest? And the worst one, and then I fast forwarded uh, through it was uh, Daleks in New York City in Manhattan oh, or whatever. Oh, fuck. The New York and... City stories. The best <laughs> The best part about the the last episode... Here, one spoiler from the from the last episode of the, this final season is yeah. the doctor basically says they can't go back to New York anymore. Ever. Oh, okay. Really? So, thank <laughs> God. <laughs> Next time, Cincinnati. Yeah, really. Windsor. Uh, he would... My God, we're the asshole of the universe. <laughs> if, he went, if he went to Windsor, Ontario, or Detroit... He would automatically regenerate because he would die <laughs> immediately. A little, uh, his soul would die. Windsor, when, like, uh, yeah. In some ways, looking at Windsor is kind of like looking at a MySpace page. <laughs> yes. So uh, hold on. I think we should go. I think we should go out with a with a, with some tunes playing. Hey, that's a great idea. Set this up. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Let's see if I can. I can blow a fuse here. So we're in the key of C here. All right. Sorry, no, no, D, a uh, G. We're in the key of G. I like, I like how this is called the. Uh, this did Today's cost program me. was brought to you by Magnus. For all your organ needs. And on that note, literally, I'd like to say to you, peace out and fuck off. All right, buddy. And I will see you on the dance floor.